Hello, everybody. I know what you mean, ma'am. I'm scared to see ours. Very scared. You guys are wonderful. Well, let me get started because it is 6 o'clock. And uh, we've got, I always like to tell you how many. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, whoops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 boxes and 2, 3 packages. And there might be a little mail. I think there might be a couple mails. I found one here. Hey, did you did you happen to have them any of them with owl phone? Yeah. You want to put that back down? That light in there? Oh, the whole thing turned to pop. Jimmy, if you're hungry, there's food in there. Okay, so Mudgy is ready. I'm ready. We're going to go. I hope, hope you guys are all damn warm. It's, 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 it's cold. I don't even know what the temperature is here right now, but it's two. Um, it's two. It was four when I left house and got it's two when I got home. I guess I'm cutting off heads again. I'm really good at that. Mm -hmm. And I'm short, so if I'm cutting mine off, I'm cutting everybody's off. Yeah. All right. So, um, oh, cool, Joko. I just sold one like five minutes ago. Yeah. And if any of you else haven't heard about that, the conversation books that Joko has um, made, and they're the little stories that she puts in on the uh, Facebook, we still have those for sale. I think they're $22. You can just send a PayPal, just say, I want the Joko book, and, and uh, send it in that way, or send a check and just put on the bottom for a Joko book, J-O-C-O book, and uh, we'll get, get those out, of, out to you all. Yeah, they're, they're all those little conversations that Joko's made of between the cats and them, between a cat and a cat or a cat and a person. They're really cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One with the wind chill is minus 12. And we're supposed to get down to minus 14. 14. So minus, minus 12 or 14, did she say? And then the wind chill is minus 30 something tonight. So it is cold. But somebody sent me some pictures of some snow today. I showed them to Beth. And it's like, wow. We have snow, but not like that snow. Okay, we're going to do this. This is, oh, this is from our friend Barb. Barb W. from Washington. Hey, Beth, would you look on front of the file cabinets, all those notes I have? Will you see if there's one from Barb W.? Ouch. Uh, you know what? You guys are really perfect. My, my uh, right here. Thank you, Shannon. Uh, we're going to not try not to bother Zelda. Oh, my gosh. That is really, really cold. That makes me cold. Our biggest problem here is the... Uh, is our propane, and I bet you guys are too. A lot of you places. Minus, oh my goodness, see, you guys are giving me goosebumps. So, this is from Barb W. That's checking to see if I had a note on this one. Pardon? Okay, we're trying to get a new system going for my emails that come in in regards to uh, boxes. Oh, I knew. I know why this reminded me. I know why I thought of this or was wondering about it. Yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, thank you very much, Barb, for the reminder. This is something that we're going to add to our next flash sale, and I don't know when it is yet. 
Well, maybe I don't know when it is yet. <laughs> I can never tell a fib. This will be all oh, Barb. This is really cute. This is a, well, she's got it packed in here so nicely. This is a fish. A fish uh, bowl with the fish lid on top. Isn't that cute? Like glass or ceramic. So we'll get that in on the next um, flash sale. Barb, thank you. Can you get this? Uh, yeah. Okay, and Barb was kind enough to send us our much needed potty bag. Sorry, honey. All right, and because we cannot disturb Zelda yet, we're going to do this. Oh, we got to grab Jimmy. Do you know where Jimmy is? He's out with Jimmy Castle putting on the door. Put it on the door. It's not been on all this time. <laughs> I think you've heard of that door. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I didn't know that. Are you kidding? I'm embarrassed. I'm really sorry. What door does it best have? Yeah. Did you tell her about the door? Oh, golly. We've been painting in there. It seems like forever, for a week. And we took the door off. All this time I thought the door was back on. Boy, we're really good guests. We're really good hosts, aren't we? You can have a kitty castle, but there's no door on the bathroom. I'm sorry. Was the door on there when the other ladies were there before, too? Oh, golly. No. Um, geez. Sorry. <laughs> okay, this one. Um, American. The only reason I said you didn't say was because he said, oh, I guess I need to put my on because there's more than one in the state. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is from American Science and Surplus. Americans. Science and Surplus from Illinois, address to FFRC. Oh, this, I know what this is. Oh, it's here. Yeah, Chicago 4 now. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That makes me feel bad. Um, I was wondering about this. Let me check. I think I have a note on that. Hi, I saw the picture of the other one that was adopted. Yeah, all snuggled in. <laughs> Hey, can you stay close up to this and then we got something for you. Um, I'm pretty sure I know who this is from, but I don't have the note right here in front of me, so I don't like to say names unless I know it's okay. So if you're the one who got this for FFRC, please pop up there and say, hey, I did it. And I'll show you, we'll show you where this is going to go. We are well clocked now. <laughs> yeah. Jackie clocks me all the time. Yeah, he needs it. This is cool. This is a radio controlled atomic j jumbo clock. Grande. Whoa. Super Grande. Yes, we do. No, we don't. <laughs> I thought I was the one that didn't use directions. Mucho Grande. Plastic. 
got the first step down. What's that? Got the first one down. Really that was me. That I thought it was oil sands girl, but I I was didn't want to say unless that was okay. We're gonna. This is a digital. And um, Jimmy said he was gonna do it tonight. Oh, look at this. Look how easy that is. Jimmy was going to do this tonight, and do you want to show them where it's going to be? Do you remember where it's going to be? We talked about this oil sand spell. Yeah, cool. Warmer or colder? Huh? My warmer or you're, colder? Well, you're cold, but now you're getting warmer. Warmer. Those are four, those are four and a half. Yeah, that will work. So you're going to have this, and you're going to have a clock that's right up here. So, no matter which... Look, 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 Andy, help me. Yeah, <laughs> there's Andy. <laughs> so, no matter which way, you know, like, let's say if we put our camera yeah. this way, see, you'll have the clock there. If we put it this way a little ways and you can't see that, you're going to be able to see the one over there. Woohoo! So, we are good. I got some brand new ones. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Oral Sam's girl, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, numbers are four and a half inches big. It's a jumbo 17 inch display. Yeah, now, Jimmy, it says you can format it 12 or 24 hours. What's that mean? Get on here. Yeah, no, no, no military. I have to stand there and don't like this. Makes sense for me, hey, little buddy. <laughs> okay, cool. I know. Can you guys hear the Christmas? Well, I know you can. we hear the Christmas clock, and then the patriotic clock, clock is up here too. <laughs> I'd help you when my shoes are full. Remember that one earlier? Mm -hmm. right, right or cut off. Yeah, but we have so many areas we can cut heads off at. <laughs> well, we'll try it there and we'll see if you guys can see it there. Yeah. Cool. Oh, Rachel is so great. With it. Okay, while well, Jimmy's fiddling around over there with it, we'll open up another box and then we'll have Jimmy come over. This one is for Asha, my Asha, Asha girl. Asha is out there probably 95% of the time. That picture I posted, someone said her color matches. The purple because she's got a purple collar on. Oh my gosh, did you see that picture that Elizabeth put in Facebook today of Asha? That was gorgeous. This is, it says care of Asha, but this is something that we use for all the cats. And yeah, this is from, oh, this is from J, J A Y, J. H and says, I'm pretty sure this is what makes my eyes so blue from Asha. That's really nice. Asha has gorgeous eyes. This is, I think I talked to two people today on the phone about l -Lysine. This is what we use for the herpes virus for kitties. And don't get, don't get um, kitty herpes virus mixed up with people herpes virus. They're two different things. But every cat, that powder that we put in um, the breakfast food has this calculated into it. And we change the dose of it as needed every week. We figure out what our general weight is and put it in there. So this helps. We've been using this for probably three years now, and we like it. Yep, that's Mary. I'll put this here. Okay, she's still working on it. Oh my gosh, every vet we've ever worked with, every vet that we've ever sent home, I mean every cat that we've ever sent 
home recommending it and it's been checked they've, they've all been a hundred percent in agreement yeah lysine l lysine it's uh we've noticed a big big difference in um our kitties with the herpes i virus uh, using that and the interesting thing is like just today i had a owner call back and said they love 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 their new kitty from here but they noticed the eyes was a little weepy and I said, oh, you know, we, I didn't tell you about the l um, that he's already been on here. So he had a two-week break from it and they're going to start it up again tomorrow. And I think it, they'll notice another big difference that it's better. Um, herpes virus for the cats is different than the kitty one and, or excuse me, than the human one, but you do the same lysine. There's some that's in capsules that you can use it, but you have to have the right dose. Always remember to use the right doses. And uh, we get ours a lot of times like this where it's powder form and then we measure it out for a group. Very safe. Okay, this one is from Scott and Kathy. Oh, wait a minute. This one... Um, it's going to be a gift. So I yeah, can't jump on the end of it when Mary is there. So we'll get this sent on to where it's supposed to go. Wow. I tried to stop it before she noticed. So Kathy is here. Um, we'll get that moved on to where we're supposed to send it to. Yeah. Um, and this one is from our friend Mayumi. Oh, it's in <laughs> Oh, I was hoping that's what this is. This is the Thule, T-U-L-L-I. The kitties, when they want a little extra snack for breakfast, I add this to their container, and uh, actually, we can put one of these up. up. Oh, sorry, Shannon. Yeah, yeah. Let me get you. And package. Oh wow, this is so old. And uh, it's chicken flavor. It comes from Japan, and Mayumi always keeps us in stock of this for a long time. And it's nice. It's nice. And this is something that sometimes we use for the kittens, too. Oh, I didn't see there was something else. Sorry. Here, we'll put this one over here. So there's two cases of that. Oh, it's okay. I know that sounds really nasty. It makes me jump every time he does it. Some of the people, and this was a very good assumption, had thought that he had the throat irritation from the endotrach tube from his surgery, but he did not have an endotrach tube. So he's got, got a little inflammation all by himself there. And, and when he does that, he's just kind of clearing his throat out. So it is kind of scary to hear it. I was looking at the cat's throat. He said, but I just saw a kitty. Oh, I think he's probably a baby. And I think he's so much better with that pen out. Uh, these are, there's two packages, it's all in Japan, so, Japanese, so, I don't, can't read it, but I know we were calling these, like, uh, chick, chicken steaks, and the cats love these, there's little, like, chicken fillets in here, and there's two packages of them, the cats love them, yeah, of course, Shambali, magenta is probably the there's room up there, Thank you, Mayumi. Thank you. Um, th these go in June's room. Oh, these go back there. Yeah. I think I'll keep one of these out for a snack or something. Yeah, please. Is Jimmy here? Did you see Jimmy when you asked him to come out? Well, we were trying to get him to open the meat. Yeah, he was supposed to stay here. I think he thought the clock was always Oh, he's still working on the clock. No, he's 
Oh, no. No, there's more. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at me. Can you see? I think you went out. This came through wag.com. Wag.com. Oh. Okay, dear bud. I don't have a message on this one, but it is. Royal Cannon Kitten and Royal Cannon Kitten. And I do believe our bin is low enough I can put both of these in there. I don't have the name on these, so whoever is our anonymous donor, if you could, if you're out there, just pop it up there for us to see or Mudgy to copy. And I appreciate this very, very much. We'll probably use both of these in the bin tonight. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that crazy, Lainey? It's colder here than it is in Alaska. Yeah. yeah. So thank you to our anonymous friend. Yeah, we appreciate this. Um, Lady Gal, thank you. Thank you. Love ya. Yeah, and then I'll fill that up tomorrow morning. Is Jenny here yet? Okay. Oh. Hey, I think he might be out putting the door on. Oh. He already put the door on. Oh. Up there. I never know where anybody is. Jenny? This came from Rhode Island. Jenny, you done. You weren't done. Oh, he forgot. He forgot. Oh. This one right there. Sorry. That's okay. Check in with her. Oh, okay. Here, we're going to hold on this for just a minute. I don't know what this is that's in here. All I know is you're supposed to own these. There's two of them. It came from Zazzle, our, the company that we get stuff from. Thank you, Lady Gal, for the Royal Cannon. Appreciate that. Oh, you know. Oh, uh, do you know why? Because you always help the UPS guy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cool. That's a customer man. He's oh, look at it on here, too. Oh, what does it say? Customer man. <laughs> official. We got a, it's official. There's another one, too. Yeah, and it's brown. <laughs> it will be one <laughs> Cool. Customer man. Official FFRC official customer man. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of pressure. And brown. Yep. I think it's from the moderators. Am I right, mods? Thank you. Yeah. I should have started this over so we weren't such a delay. Now, are you supposed to share one with our guy? <laughs> See, I only knew of one one shirt coming. It's the same. It is the same. Yeah. So when Mod, one gets dirty, the other one. You have to wear that same shirt. He, Jimmy's, whenever anybody calls and or emails me and or they check on their UPS, and they always say this. Well, a guy a guy signed for it, and it says Jimmy, so it's all big them. I don't know if they just signed your name to all of them. That used to be mine, but I think he signed your name now. I think I'll have Jimmy for it. <laughs> uh -huh. We yeah. could write it. Thank you, guys. Jimmy is, well, I guess he's awesome. I mean, it wasn't a grande tutu that you wanted me to put on right away, because I was, I was going to put a tutu that I was going to put it on right now. Oh, we messed right. up. <laughs> I think Mods was that from the official Jimmy fan club. Aww. Thank you, Mudgy. Mudgy, did you guys, did you all know there was two coming? Thank you. Mary. Mary. Same thing. They're nice. They feel good. Yeah. 
Yeah, and the UPS guy says that the customer man always signs for it. So you're the customer man. Thank you, guys. I'm yeah. going to get ready to get Is there ice above you? <laughs> no, I, you should. I pledge you the only ordered one. Yeah, kind of too. He's very hard on his clothes here. Yeah, he's very hard on his clothes. Just, I just hope you guys didn't get charged for two. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. And we have one more box. Oh, no, no. We have, we have this in the box. The box that says Be Kind on it. <laughs> it will go well with the tutu, Oil Sam says. I <laughs> will. So, you know, I wish I had a mom for this one, but you do, Mary. You got Donald, Goofy, Staffy. You should. Thank you, Mary. Okay, Mary. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. This said, one of your most endearing characters. <laughs> Characteristics is your curiosity. Yeah, my curiosity gets me in trouble sometimes. Equal to that of a cat. Here is a sample of the crochet, you know, those bed bowl material. This would be the very center bottom of a bowl. Give it a look, then grab the loose end and start pulling and pulling, and you can get an idea of the fabric and how it's put together. This is crochet. It's jersey fabric cut into strips sewing end to end and then used as yarn. Notice that the material curls when pulled and does not ravel into threads. I've made two for you so you can pull one apart and then another. After all, every curious cat lady needs toys. Cheers. This is LJ. You know, um, remember the bowls that we have of this? Um, we're going to have Oh, no, no, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna sell some of these bowls that you all saw at whenever we have our next flash sale. No. I got it. We're going to let the kitties play with this because this is tough. You know, LJ, when I was a little girl, I only had one grandma as grandparents. <clears throat> she would sit on our front porch and she would make um, rag rugs, kind of like this. She would take all of our clothes that we outgrew and it was my sister and I was the youngest. So no more kids. And she would take those clothes and cut them into strips just like this and sew them in the end, just like that, how you did it. And then my mom would crochet them into rugs. Yeah. it was. Uh, so this definitely is like this. This is it. I'm going to save that other one and show it to my mom. Yeah. That's cool. Yep. I got it. I couldn't do it, but I got it now. That's cool. All right, I want to see how you did the middle. But so we're going to. Just a chain. Oh, it is. It's still just like that, right around there. So we're going to sell um, some of these at the next flash sale. So be on guard when the. When the mods say um, flash sale is da 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 da, know that part of that is going to be um, some of these bowl beds. We were we were told that we could sell some for um, the, the flash sale and some for the kitties. Yeah, this stuff is these these bowl beds when we get them out there will last forever. Yeah, I only had one grandma and she would sit on a rocking chair, rock, listen to her old gospel songs we would put it on you know the flat records and set the little player there beside her <laughs> we would have to she'd always holler at us to come change the record and we would come out and change the record for her. still have a grandma around you you do 
96, that's right. Angie's grandma is 96. Wow. Angie, that is Jean. My other grandma was 92. That's really, <laughs> really yes, amazing. We've got, we've got the five generations. Wow. Yeah. I haven't thought about that in a long time. Okay. Maybe you want to go play. in there and start crafting. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. We got one more box here. But where did you, did, did Ginger run? Okay. Ginger is now, uh, is past competition with Octavia. Beth, can you just put that here? I'm going to take that and show that to my mom. No, uh -uh. we'll let the kitties play with that. Um, Ginger is probably up to five packets today, maybe. She's... She's uh I think we have to send her home with Connie. <laughs> She's a pro, yeah, we're gonna send her home with Connie. Well, yeah, I'm thank you, L J. I like that. <laughs> okay, and this one is from Kelly R. Our friend Kelly R in uh California. And uh you might be very happy to know that Octavia or oh that Tabitha loves, loves, loves her her bed up there. Oh, yeah. She's creating it quite quite neatly. Okay, let's see what Kelly's done. Whoa, Kelly, this is, uh, I can tell already, this is a good box. Uh, Whitman's, this is a sugar-free. Kelly always thinks of the diabetic ones. So we have two sugar-free candies that, that uh, they like to have. Lynette's going to snag one of these. I know she will. M&M pretzels. There's two of these. And caramel kisses. I think these should go in the in, well, <laughs> we're in the tray over there right away. Oh. And cherry. Cherry cream kisses. Don't lick me. And that, oh, a milk chocolate kisses. And another sherry, sugar free buttercream caramel. Oh, yep, there's one more. One more of the humans. And milk chocolate. Oh, milk chocolate kisses. And another toffee square sugar free. So, Kelly, we love it. Those, those will probably go over there, and should we sit, just go ahead and give one to Lynette? Okay. Okay. And these, do you know where the candy box is in the dog's room? I think so. Okay, it's in a banker's, okay. America banker thing. And we, for the kitties, <laughs> now if Ginger was up here, she'd be snagging me. Uh, we got a bag of Temptations. We'll sit that in the floor. Can you screw up, pretty boy? And there's a whole mix. There's some appetizers, fancy feast, and baby food jars. And I think we probably have room in our cupboard. We'll just go ahead and put these in there then. Yeah. <laughs> She's a nut. I uh, held the camera up there today. For those that don't know, the whole cap cabinet that's above the refrigerator is hers and Jimmy put a little rail on there to keep the paper towels in but and she also has her own paper towel roll holder up there and uh, I've seen her do it three four times now she'll snake a corner of it and just rip it over and it tears off and if it doesn't then she does this thing to it and then she pulls it onto her nest but this morning it got down here, and we had it all the way to the floor, and kitties were laying on the on it down there. She's, how old are you? I don't have the health book right here, but she's probably a little less than a year old. Yeah, Ginger goes underneath doctor's pen and in here in the orange table and chews them all up. Yeah. Uh, all, actually, right now, Hmm, let me think about that. I think right now, this doesn't happen often because we have such age ranges. But I, oh no, I can't say that. I was going to say 100% of all of our cats are spayed. 
but there's one that's not, and that's Coralie. She's not. Yeah. a check the other day. I was so upset with myself. We're going to try to take it to the bank and see what they say. If not, one of you folks out there might get a check back asking us to ask you if you could do it over again. And this is from Barbara W. Oh, and this is for the flash sale. Hey, Beth. Yes. Can you write flash sale on there? And, um, and this Thank you. Would you will you put that on her desk and then I won't I won't worry about it. So that's another flash sale amount. Um we're gonna try it and see how that works there. We'll we'll work it out. Today, you know, our cold and hot water has been frozen out there and um in Thumper's room, and about four days ago, it became unplugged. Or no, no, two days ago. And so we've been running it, and every time I go out there, I step into the bathroom and flush the toilet just to keep the cold water going, and then I go in there and turn the hot water on for a minute just to keep it going. Lynette was out there working on the ionizers, and in between 20 minutes, it, the, the hot froze up. So it's all gone at all. So it won't run, it won't thaw tonight, that's for sure. But we do have the cold, so that's at least we got something. Um, Coralie is doing really well. We took her dressing off tonight or this afternoon, and um, that is the foot that Dr. Darcy had to declaw. Um, three out of the four digits that touch the floor and or can go down. So it looks pretty good. It looks sore, but it, it's pretty good. Um, and some of you might say, well, why did you have to declaw? Well, in trying to save the pad, uh, the claw and the claw bed is dead. The tissue is dead from the frostbite. So we we're trying to be very conservative and not take any more off than what we have to. So she did the deep claw, and if that's all we have to do, that's great. We've saved the pad, and if not, then she'll work on the pad. We have been leaving the faucet dripping, and you know, Lynette, uh, she had had frozen water. Um, what was that? Three weeks ago when it got so cold, and so she was leaving it dripping last week. She said she woke up at 2.30 in the morning, it was running, 3.30 it was running, 4.30 it was running, 5.30 it was uh, froze up, even with the drip. So I'm not dripping, I'm leaving it, it's running out of there. So we're, we just have to do that. It's hard on the pump, but we have to do that. I know, <laughs> I felt really bad about the kitty, fake kitty. <laughs> and uh, two weeks ago I got my brother-in-law and he went back there. <laughs> and Judy, my sister, her husband, um, that's her husband, she said, and you need to pet that kitty too. She needs some attention. And so Dave reaches in and 
or we got him too. I love doing that. Anyhow, I can't do that anymore because uh, the kitty is gone. It got uh, ate up by Dodger today. Seymour is neutered. Yep. He's neutered. We neutered him the Sunday, uh, Sunday before last. Dr. Darcy came in special just to do him and another kitty for me. Are you getting something for <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yep. We, we, we're trying to save the pad. We've got the heater in there. Um, the problem is, is not where the faucet is or the toilet. It's um, behind the wall, or it's in between the wall, and it's insulated about five feet out. So we can't even, we don't have wall access to it. It's really, it's kind of a weird, weird setup there. No, we can't put heat tape on it because we can't even get it. They're inside the walls. But he's, he's got a way to um, fix it, but he can't take the vinyl off of the outside right now because it's so cold. When he takes that first one off, he says it, it will crack. So... We, we're just going to have to wait. We just have to put up with it. I don't know, Bo Peeps. You'll have to go through your vet um, on that because you have to go through your vet anyhow to get to get the medicine and to make sure it's the right proper one for your cat and that it's actually uh, prescribed for your cat. Always make sure it is. Um, there's different doses, different different kinds. We're staying warm, but I'm telling you, we are keeping the propane or the temperature down on the thermostat a lot more. There is definitely a propane shortage in this area. A friend of mine has been out of propane for five days. Hopefully they got it today. They were hoping that they would get propane today. So we usually would keep it in 70 here. We've got it at 78, and I think actually I flipped it down to 77 today in here. But it's an evening in here, all the cats, it does make a difference. The body, it's a little bit warmer, I think. And then at night, we've been turning all the thermostats down to about 64, 65. So we just, I'd rather be a little chilly now than be cold, cold later. Yeah. Hi, Becky. Hi, Becky. Hi, Becky. Hi, Becky. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be harder before it gets better. I know. Yeah. Okay. I think um, I've got to go talk to uh, Shannon a little bit. <laughs> oh, Sonia. Maybe by that time I'll have something else to try to fool you. No, no, there is natural gas. Some people have natural gas, some have propane. Yeah. You should try to come over earlier. So, I tried to get it. It didn't work, so I left my car basically and I gave it a Well, kind of. It's a little different, so you're talking um, poorly and gallant. Um, it's just so very different, the injury, you know, that both of them have. Gallons was a burn and hers is frostbite. Yeah. But you know, in all reality, the treatment's kind of the same. Antibiotics, sore, soreness meds, and the ointments. You know, the only thing with Coral Lee is her things won't grow back. Well, the, yeah. If we if we end up not having electricity, we will still have heat in here because we right above where you guys are, there's um, a little propane tank that we can um, get to work without electricity. So that's always a comfort, but if we don't have propane, that doesn't work either. But then we do have some electric heaters, and these heaters have actually been donated by you folks out there last year. So, you know, we would be able to 
hopefully keep the things a little bit warm. I love that coral leaf. I think we all do. Yeah. And this morning I was so excited. We had every Monday morning at 9 o'clock our generator will kick in at 9 o'clock sharp and boy it was. It was very prompt and it runs for 12 minutes and that's just to get the oil, the gas going, the oils going, making sure that everything works good and it was so cold that it chug 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 at first and then it went down and Jimmy and I know, I know we looked at each other like uh oh and then bam it started right up just lickety split and uh, it ran the 12 minutes and then shut down so it was so exciting to hear it. <laughs> it really was. And it's not that loud. It's it's nothing as loud as the one that we had when we had the derecho storm. The electric heaters are pretty good. We have we have three um, that keep us. We're well. We have to use one in the front thumpers room because the the way the heat is the. Um, our furnace doesn't hit that very good. So we use one of those all the time. And also we use the second one there in um, Kitty Cabana because there's no direct heat into there. So we use one of the other electric heaters. Yeah, when it doesn't run, call the, or well, we would call yeah, our electrician the uh, uh, Gus Weilers. But it was cool. So we had to call them up though and say it ran. It was exciting. Me too. Okay, well we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go because I gotta talk to Shannon. She told me I had to talk to her. So I'll talk to you all later. Becky's here so she'll do the last group. No, this generator is not real loud. Yeah. Hey Wicked. All right, you all take care. Thank you for what you do for us.